There is no other way to show God that we love him except by doing what he tells us to do. For this is the love of God that we keep his commandments and his commandments are not burdensome. All around us, certain people have developed whole new doctrines in complete opposition to the Holy Scriptures because they feel that God's commandments are burdensome to keep. To them, the demands of Jesus are just too huge, too large, and that all of our heart is too much to ask of a person. But the exact opposite is true. The Scripture declares that God's commandments are not grievous to the one that is born of God and loves the Lord. Why would you not willingly do anything for the one you love? For whatever is born of God overcomes the world. And this is the victory that has overcome the world. Our faith. Victory is gained over the world by faith in Jesus Christ. By believing that Jesus Christ is the Son of God. And some of the things that we need victory over is suffering, disease, corruption, hate, bitterness, backbiters, pride, arrogance, immorality, destroyed families, wickedness, drugs, drunkenness, and envy. Hunger, homelessness, pain, hurt, selfishness, greed. These are all things that we're challenged with every day. But this is what God wants us to have victory over all these things. Because these things all lead to corruption and death. But Christ leads to life. These things I have spoken to you, that in me you may have peace. That's the only place you're going to find it. You're not going to find it in the world. It's not there. The Holy Spirit-filled Christian is equipped for triumph. You're equipped for triumph. Everyone who's been born of God is equipped for victory, for triumph. And God gives the believer victory over all trials and temptations in life. God gives the believer victory over fear and despair fills them with love, joy, peace. These things I have spoken to you that in me you may have peace. In the world you will have tribulation, but be of good cheer. I have overcome the world. Peace, joy, and love, reconciliation, no more fear and despair. Fear not, for I am with you. Be not dismayed, for I am your God. I will strengthen you. Yes, I will help you. I will uphold you with my righteous right hand. Amen.